As we consider a post-COVID world, we want to make sure that our meeting room participants are as safe as possible. That could mean minimizing physical interaction with room control. Today, I'm going to show you how to let users control their QSIS meeting room on their smartphone devices rather than relying solely on the touchscreen controller using QR codes. That's right, I said QR codes. I'll be the first to admit that when QR codes first came out, I laughed at these things. Like, a lot. <laughs> like, they were gimmicky and they were hard to use. But believe it or not, these little guys have come a long way. And most smartphones nowadays natively recognize QR codes in the camera app and give you the ability to launch a web URL or link to launch a specific app. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do with QSIS UCI. To get started, your QSIS core needs to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network used by your meeting room participants. If your core is using a dedicated AV network that's not part of the larger corporate Wi-Fi network, you could always use one of the available unused LAN ports on your core to make this connection. An easy way to test this out would be to connect your phone or laptop to the same Wi-Fi network and then attempt to open Core Manager from a browser using your core's IP address. While you're in Core Manager, you can grab the link to the desired UCI. Click on the User Control Interface tab, select the appropriate UCI, and then click Open in the upper right-hand corner. You'll see a pop-up window containing the link we'll use for the QR code. Next, it's time to generate your QR code and make it available to your users. You can use any number of free QR generators available online, so take your pick. Enter your URL to generate the QR code, and then output that code as a high-resolution JPEG or PNG. Alternatively, you could use the QR code generator plugin, which you can find in QSIS Designer Asset Manager. After installing it, drag that component into your schematic and then open it. Once you've saved the core and run, select the network interface and the UCI device type. And then the plugin will automatically generate a custom QR code, which you can place into your UCI. Keep in mind that this plugin does require a scripting engine to deploy and an active connection to the internet to generate the code. So clearly, this plugin doesn't work for every system. But if you already have a scripting license deployed in your system, it's a nice shortcut to creating that QR code. In either scenario, you can then go to UCI Editor and drag your QR graphic onto the UCI. Just make sure you place it somewhere where it's easily accessible from any page, like on your main navigation. Then, all your users need to do is open their camera app on their smartphone, aim it at the code, and in a matter of seconds, they'll have control of that room on their phones. If you want to take extra precaution, replace your standard controls on your TSC with a single screen containing no other controls other than that QR code link, funneling all users to your custom smartphone's friendly UCI control. You can even wire a simple motion sensor to trigger QSIS to automatically wake up the TSC when users enter the room. Pretty cool, right? Well, let's take it a few steps farther, shall we? Maybe you want to display social distancing instructions directly on the room's display before each meeting. Well, if those installations are using NB series video endpoints, you could totally do that. You can start by making a custom signage graphic available to your NV series device using Core Manager. These background graphics are shared assets for all NV devices on the same system. Then, you can enable the dynamic idle screen feature allowing you to customize the message for each endpoint and room its services. You could direct your attendees to use the QR code on the touchscreen, or maybe even provide a bit.ly version of your UCI that they can use on their mobile browser. And that's it for Bring Your Own Control with QSIS. Stay safe, everyone, and we'll see you next time.